Vladimir Putin's regime is defying new laws enacted to evict the Russian Federation from a Canberra site close to Parliament House. Live to Olivia Kaisley. She's watching this story for us. Olivia, it uh, sparked an extraordinary diplomatic standoff that appears to be continuing. Mm. And there are serious questions here about whether this constitutes a further deterioration in the Russian-Australian diplomatic relationship. This all started last week when Parliament passed emergency legislation essentially tearing up Russia's lease for an embassy site very close to Parliament House. This bill did have bipartisan support over a very strong national security concerns and you can see uh, some live pictures from the site now. So the latest twist in the saga is that Russia doesn't want to leave and there's a Russian diplomat illegally squatting on the site. You can see uh, he's been holed up in this white demountable just there for about the past three days and he's only been coming out to smoke and also accept food deliveries. He's under the careful watch of the Australian Federal Police but they can't go and arrest him because he has diplomatic immunity. This man is technically trespassing though because as I say that legislation passed last week uh, ripping up that lease that the Russians did have. Uh, I can show you some footage now as well, taken by Rhiannon Down from the Australian newspaper of an interaction she had with the man. Are you from Russia, sir? Do you work at the embassy? Sir? Hello? Can I help you? Ah, uh, yes, sorry, who are you? What's your name? Who? Nope. Shadow Veterans Affairs Minister Barnaby Joyce has this message for the squatter. Hang, hang around in your donga, mate, and uh, I reckon you're going to get sick of it in the frost pretty quick. Um, just turn the power off. Just, you know, let them sit out the front smoking bungers. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it is a very serious issue, though, especially after ASIO revealed last year that they dismantled a, a hive of Russian spies operating in Canberra. Now, in the coming days, we are expecting the Russian Federation to launch unprecedented legal action, essentially to challenge this legislation. We can expect a fight, though. I've received a statement from the Home Affairs Minister Claire O'Neill's office, which reads... Make no mistake, last week the Parliament took decisive action to resolve the national security challenges presented by the site. We are confident of our legal position. Processes are underway for the Commonwealth to formalise a possession of this site in Canberra, just hundreds of metres away from the front door of Parliament House, Pete. OK, yeah, look, there's the AFP. A few more vehicles have turned up now, but like Olivia just said, there's not much they can do about it because he would appear to have diplomatic immunity. We'll see how that progresses. Olivia Casley, thank you.